Hello, I'm Matt, Technical Director at ProDrive IT, and I'm going to show you how to use Tango, a handy little browser extension which removes some of the time and frustration of creating documents. It's great for making documents like operating procedures, tutorials, how-tos, training guides, whatever you need, really. Once you've decided what you want to document, Tango helps you pull it all together. The free version only works on web pages, so that's what we're going to look at today. So the first thing we need to do is install the Tango extension into the Edge web browser. To do this, we go to app.tango.us, sign in if you already have a Tango account, or sign up for a new account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. And at the top right of the page, we see get the extension. Click on there. Click get. Click add extension. And it will install the extension for you as it's showing, but it's not visible by default. So you need to go to the extensions menu. Just tick on the little picture of the eye with a line through it to make it visible. Now we can see the orange circle with T in it for Tango. So in order to show you what Tango can do, I'm going to document how to set up a new phone for Office 365 MFA. Once you have the Tango extension installed, simply click on the icon and click on the large purple dot to start capturing your workflow. One of the things we often get asked at ProDrive IT is how to set up multi-factor authentication on a new phone. Perhaps you've been lucky enough to upgrade to one of the latest iPhones. You need to log in to myaccount.microsoft.com. Once the page is loaded, click on the update info link under the security info section. You can see that Tango is placing an orange border around the links that you're highlighting. Once the security info page is loaded, click on add sign in method. Choose the method that you'd like to add. I'm going to add a new authenticator app. This might be the Microsoft Authenticator, Google Authenticator, Authy, or Duo. Click add. Click next because I have the app already. Click next, and then in your app, scan the QR code. Once you've scanned the QR code in your Authenticator app, click next. You'll get sent a notification, which you can either tap to approve or enter in the six digit code, depending on your app. And the new device is added. I'm now gonna stop the Tango workflow by clicking on the green tick in the bottom left. And Tango is also magically creating my workflow for me. Once your workflow has loaded, you can edit the title as you need to. I'm going to call this one Add New Phone for MFA. Uh, you can add a, a description and you can go through and uh, edit the steps that it has created for you. I'm going to delete this first one and this second one as they're not really very useful. And you can see down here that it has automatically captured every link that we clicked on and also put a description in. You can export it into your own documentation system by clicking share and export at the top right. Under download, I'm going to export this one to a PDF just for demonstration purposes. Open this file. And we can see that Tango has produced a lovely guide that I can now give to my team to help people add a new phone for Microsoft MFA. If you have a documentation system of your own, you can share and export and copy the raw HTML and use that in your own system. Once in your system, you can edit it as you need to. If you're using Tango to store the document, you can click on save to store it within your own personal account. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. And if you want to contact ProDrive for any reason, our contact details will be on the slide at the end of this video.